Hi, my name is Ben Freer, and today we're going to talk about E2 source of funds. When you apply for the E2 visa, the U.S. government wants to see where your investment came from, and there are three main reasons for this. The first reason relates to unlawful activities. Anyone who applies for the E2 visa needs to show that their money came from a lawful source. The U.S. government knows that there are a lot of bad guys slash gals out there who are earning money through illegal activities such as drug trafficking, human trafficking, arms dealing, and the U.S. government wants to make sure that you are not one of those bad people. So for that reason, they will closely examine your source of funds to make sure that it came from a lawful place. The second reason why they want to see where your investment came from is because they want to make sure that your investment is at risk in the U.S. business. The good news is that many different types of funds will be considered at risk, including loans. Here is the section of the Foreign Affairs Manual that discusses this issue. The manual states, if the fund's availability arises from indebtedness, like a loan, these criteria must be followed. Number one, indebtedness such as mortgage debt or commercial loans secured by the assets of the enterprise cannot count toward the investment as there is no requisite element of risk. For example, if the business in which the applicant is investing is used as collateral, funds from the resulting loan or mortgage are not at risk even if some personal assets are used as collateral. Number two, only indebtedness collateralized by the applicant's own personal assets, such as a second mortgage on a home or unsecured loan, such as a loan on the applicant's personal signature may be included since the applicant risks the funds in the event of business failure. So that's great news, right? You can use a loan for the E2 visa, and it doesn't even have to be secured. The only major limitation is that the loan cannot be secured against the assets of the business, since in that situation, you wouldn't be risking anything if the business was a bust. In other words, you really wouldn't have any skin in the game. The third and final reason why the US government examines your source of funds is because they wanna make sure that you have control of the investment. For example, if you and another person shared a joint bank account and the money for the E2 business came from that joint bank account, the US government might say, well, wait a minute, this money doesn't really belong exclusively to you. You don't have full control over these funds which is required for the issuance of the E2 visa. Now, of course, there are ways around this. The joint bank account holder could loan you the money or they could gift you the money and then it would be under your exclusive control. Okay, so we talked about the government's rationale. We talked about why they closely look at the source of funds issue. The next question is, well, what do we need to do? In order to put this in context, Let's run through a pretty common example that I see in my practice. Let's say the money that you're using for the E2 visa came from the sale of a business or a property or other assets, and it resulted in you receiving a check. In this sort of scenario, you would document the sale by showing the sales agreement. You would show a copy of the check that was issued. You might show through bank statements that the check was deposited into your personal account. Then you would show that the money was transferred to your business account that you opened up for the E2 business. So each of these steps, the sales agreement, the issuance of the check, the transferring of the money into your personal account, the transferring of the money into the business account, all of that has to be documented. So that is E2 source of funds in a nutshell. The government examines this issue fairly closely and you will have to trace the investment back to its original source to show lawful attainment, control, and to show that the funds are truly at risk. I hope this general information was helpful. If you are considering the E2 visa, 
I highly recommend that you reach out to one of the many talented U.S. immigration lawyers that you will find across the globe. If you did enjoy this video, please consider liking it or passing it along to someone who could benefit from it. Thank you for watching.